Energy born from the void seeped into the rock and gave it some semblance of life. Humankind tried to harness its power, building wonderful creatures of crystal and light. But alas, their pride was their undoing. Only one of their machines remains today. It must now descend into the earth and go to the place where all is backwards. It may still have a chance to fix this world. Hey everyone, welcome to a game called The Crystal Golem. If you remember a game I played called The Sky is Watching from one of my 3 Scary Games video, this is made by the same guy. And uh, he said that this was a RPG type of game, kind of like Dark Souls, that's what he described it as. It's a PS1 style game, anyway I'll just show it. Okay, so yeah. So this is me. I'm this uh, little machine thing. And uh, and uh, it, actually, it actually looks pretty cool. It's pretty foggy and a little blurry for my taste. But I guess that's a PS1 type of thing, I guess. You know, I didn't get to record yesterday because there's this whole storm that's going on right now. It was raining the whole day yesterday. So I can dash. Oh, that's attack. Dash. Oh, hey. Dash. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this blue bar is like my stamina. And then the uh, the animation for my attack is crazy. It takes like three seconds to do it. Anyway, let's just go. Am I gonna run into a monster anytime soon? So yeah, the whole day it was just raining. Some cities are like totally flooded. The power is out in some places. I mean, look at this photo. Look at this. Do you even see the Philippines right now? No, you can't. There's just a whole typhoon covering the entire country. So yeah, that's a thing. Oh, okay. So is this a monster? Am I? Okay, I guess that it is a monster. Oh, I just dashed into him. Let me attack him. Well, oh, okay. Okay, oh, I, what's the area of attack on my on my attack? Okay, I'm getting him, dude. I don't know what he is. He's just like, ah! Okay, I'm still alive, dude. Whoop! I guess I have to dodge him between my attacks. Do I have... Do I get to find, like, a health potion somewhere in, around here? So, yeah, there's three levels in this game, so... This is the first level. I want to keep dashing, but... It takes like 25 energy. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it. I want to travel around as fast as possible. The controls are a little clunky though. It supports keyboard and controller, but the developer said controller was recommended, so I'm using a controller right now. It took a little while to set it up because the first time I tried it, it kept drifting. It kept ghosting, so I had to like calibrate my controller. Because I don't have an Xbox controller, I'm using like this 8-bit uh, controller. I actually really like it. It's a really great controller for me, in my opinion anyways. Okay, so attack, wonk, and then dash away. Oh, there's two of them! Shit, dude. Ah, dude, that, that's, that's gross. Up, and then dash away. Dash away, dash away. Okay, so this is how you do, how, this is how we deal with things. You just gotta kill them, and then dash away. Attack. And then dash away. I did not dash the, the the right way. I did not dash the way that I wanted to. Okay. Look, this dude isn't even bothering me. He's not bothering me at all. Why am I trying to kill him? I guess that's just me. I just want to kill everything on sight. You know, even if it didn't do anything to me. But if you can't... Am I going the same way? I don't know where I'm going. There are no landmarks. All the environments look the same. So I don't know. If I, Okay, I'm going the, a different way. I have not seen the stairs before. So okay, we'll just keep going down. <laughs> Look, when I dash, I just dash into the air. And then I fall down. <laughs> That's interesting. Gravity doesn't work when I dash. Okay, I'm a man-made machine. And I have grown to be far more intelligent than... than humanity wanted me to be. And now I roam the Earth. I roam whatever's left of Earth anyway. Oh look, I'm dashing into the ceiling. And this is a pretty slow burn, isn't it? That's fine, that's fine. So this is a grassy area. Oh, a thing. Uh, wonk. Oh no, there's more of them. There's like two of them, dude. One of the guys tried to attack me, but no. Oh, oh this guy's a different color. Okay, he missed his attack. Okay, cool. Look, the attack. Ah, no. One more hit and I'm dead, man. I got. Oh, I can't. I can't get away from these guys. I'm dashing the wrong way. Okay, fine. I'll retry. I have to restart from the beginning. Because I was dashing the wrong way. You don't dash where your character is facing. You dash where the camera is facing. Which is uh, pretty annoying. I want to dash where my character is facing. Not where the camera is pointing, dude. Come on. 
Okay, let me just get back to where that was. Okay, so I'm retrying again because I got stuck in a corner. And then I tried to dash away, but I can't dash away because you dash where the camera's pointing. I really don't like that. That's, uh, that's not a good thing because I'm using my right thumb to control my right stick. And then I have to use my right thumb for the dash button at the same time. So I have to keep switching my thumbs. I have to keep repositioning my thumbs and that's not very efficient, of course. When you want to dash away, you expect that where you... you you expect to dash where your character is facing, but no. Look, I'm facing this way, I'm facing backwards, and then when I dash, I, fa I dash forward. I'm not- I'm, I don't like that. You know, when people play like PS1 style games, they always talk about nostalgia. I can never relate because I've never had a PS1. I've never had a PS2, I've never had a PS3. I actually never had a console in my entire life. I only had like bootleg Famicoms that I- that I played when I was a kid, but I totally loved it, man. Either way, I still got hooked into video games. So, all's well that ends well, I guess. They do a little uh, noise when they do when they attack, so you hear it, so you hear the attack when it whiffs. That's a good time to dash in and attack, I guess. We're doing good. We're doing good. We still got full health. Now, we are on our way to that grass area. I call it grass area because it had green walls. Okay, here we are. Okay, my attack hit, and I got dash away, dash away. You gotta move the camera. I gotta move the camera, okay. Uh, this is a very tight space and the camera seems to collide with the walls. Oh my god, this dude. This dude uh, is on top of the other guy. Okay, this should kill at least one of them. Okay, so now I only have you to worry about. Dash away. Okay, he, he whiffed this attack. So that's a great time for me to attack, but I whiffed my attack. Ow! Ah, oh, dude, this, this guy does like 45 damage, 46. This guy, this guy hurts. Okay, please stay away from me. Okay, he whiffed this attack. Let me attack him. Okay, didn't whiff this time. Cool. Dash away, dash away, dash away. Let him whiff his attack. Let him whiff his attack. I'm gonna get hit. I did not get hit. Okay, I'm afraid he's gonna attack me the same time I'm attacking him. That's exactly what happened. Ah, oh, man! This game isn't that hard, but the controls make it hard. So it's not a matter of level design. I think the level design is fine. But the controls, man... They're, uh, they're not very good. I kind of feel like the controls just make it hard just for the sake of being hard. It doesn't make it hard gameplay-wise. It just makes it hard control-wise. Which is the more annoying of the two. I think lots of people would agree with that. Or maybe they don't. I don't know. I guess I just have to adapt instead of complaining about it. I might still complain about it. You know me. You know me with my complaining about games. Huge thanks to the developer of this game. He emailed me about this game. He gave me a key. He wanted me to try it out, so now I'm trying it. So thank you, developer, for being super nice. It's always great when developers contact me about their games. It's always a nice feeling, you know? Okay, we're, we're on these dudes again. These, uh, the red guy, or he's kind of red, I guess. The red guy is pretty easy. This, ye this big greenish-yellow guy is the hard one. He's the really dangerous one because he can kill me, like, super easily. Okay, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. Change the camera angle! <laughs> I was about to dash, like, where what, where my character was facing, but... That was, uh, that was gonna make me dash, like, right at him. Okay, I didn't know if my attack whiffed or his attack whiffed. <gasps> my attack is not fast. It's too slow. I just gotta escape. I can't escape, I have to kill him. No, 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 no! Oh man, this is not good. He's, he's chasing me. Very slowly. Because my attack animation is not fast enough. Ow! Ow! His attack is faster than mine. So I can't just attack him head to head. I don't know how to get an angle on him because as soon as I get an angle on him, he attacks me first. And it's not like I could just run away, like give, give myself some distance from him and then attack him while he's coming at me. Because he runs the same speed as I do. And the attacks do not auto aim. So, you know. I actually have to aim myself. Honestly, I wish this game was a little more fast paced. I was worried about getting lost, but when you get to a new area, like a new hub, there's a gate that closes behind you. When you kill off all the enemies in that hub, the doorway to the next hub opens. So that way you, you won't get lost, which is nice. Because I would hate to like travel a really long way and then be it the wrong way because you really can't tell which, which way is the right way. 
because uh, all the all the textures, all the the environment textures, all look the same. Okay, here we go again. Okay, I found a way to kill him, man. Just make some distance, face right in his face, and then press attack, and then and then as soon as he gets close, he he, he gets stabbed by my needle arms, by my crystal arms. Oh, hey, there's a there's a health cube. Do I have to attack it? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, I didn't need it, but fine. Oh my god, it's a boss fight! Yo, cool! I thought it was like a teddy bear. Whoa, what is he doing? <gasps> Yo, crazy! Okay, I think I can do this. He's... it's... It, he doesn't seem too hard. But, uh, I don't know, he might have like a different face. <gasps> He kill, he will destroy me. He will absolutely destroy me in two hits. I can only get hit twice. I mean, just once, because the second hit was gonna kill me. So I only have one chance. Oh no! I almost got him, man. When he charges up his attack, your, your attack will not hit. It's gonna whiff, so... Jesus. I definitely did not expect a boss fight, but the boss fight makes it interesting. That's a really good thing to add. So yeah, this game is pretty slow, but I don't feel bored at all. I think it's fun. You know, it's a little just... You know, it's a chill RPG type of game. I mean, it's difficult, but you don't get angry about it. I, at least I don't get angry about it. It's just, you know, yeah, I know what to do. Or like when there's a new thing and then I die, then I know what to do next when I reach that part again. So it's like a sense of completionism, you know, you know, like, yeah, that's okay. I died, but I can do it. I know I can do it the next time I get there. You know, it's, it's that, it's that kind of feeling. Okay. It's time for the boss fight again. Let's try to not be too reckless about this because this guy really packs a punch. Okay. I, j I got a preemptively attacked. I can't go head to head to him just like the yellow blob because he will. He will charge up his attack before I before I do. Okay. Okay, he charged up his attack, but he didn't hit me. So we gotta, like, preemptively attack. Gotta wait for him to, like... Yeah. I gotta charge up my attack before he's near. So my attack will hit him right as... You know. So my attack will hit him right as he's coming near me. So it's just, like... It's a matter of timing is what it is. Okay, it's charging up his attack. That is hit, doesn't hit me. Very cool. Okay. Okay, hit him. One more hit and he's gonna die. One more hit as he's gonna die. Just, I just gotta make some distance. Just gotta make some distance with him. Okay, I think this is gonna kill him. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So, that was the boss fight. I assume it was a boss fight. And uh, there's an arrow thing here. So I guess that signifies the, the next level. Greater Great Ruins. Okay, so this is that level 2. Okay, let me check what level 2 has got in store for me. Okay, there's a new type of enemy here. These guys, this guy is... Uh, hey! This guy just... He, these guys look just like the boss. I don't know how they're different. I guess they chart the, the, the attack they do is the same, would be the same as the bosses. Okay. My attacks do a little area of attack. Area of effect damage. Which is pretty cool. Okay. They do charge up their attack the same, but it's a lot slower. So I can go head to head with them. Yeah, okay. And then I still hit them when they're charging up their attack. Because earlier, with the boss fight, when the... Okay. My attack whiffed. Okay, so you, you gotta really learn the system of preemptively attacking. Or really just timing your attacks. Ah! No, I'm getting a hit! Okay, that was that was close. And I have to kill these guys. You have to kill them. If you do not kill them, you cannot progress. Because the way out is locked until you kill all the enemies in the area. So you really gotta you really gotta give it to them, man. Okay, I, I like this. I like this map. This map. The design of this map is a whole lot better than the first one. Man, the, the pathways to the different areas are really, really long. And, uh, and, my, and my character walks really slowly. So you gotta spend your stamina on the dashes. The areas are really interesting now, aren't they? 
I hope there were more story elements in this. Hey, what's this? Oh, I thought- <gasps> What the? Oh, this guy's gonna kill me. Can I not kill him? Oh shit, I have to kill him, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Dang. It is really a challenge because you can't just spam the attack button and then you just go. You have to methodically- You have to methodically plan your attacks. You have to methodically execute your attacks. You can't just spam the button and you win. I'm done complaining about the controls now because I got it down. I got the controls down. I know how I know how they work now and I how, and I know how to use them now. Okay, I'm going to die. So, I know when to attack and I know how to attack. So, which makes the game a little more forgiving, I guess. So, it's just a matter of how good you are at the game. I mean, so it's just a matter of how good you are at figuring out the game instead of it just being hard for the sake of being hard, you know? So I guess this game is warming up to me now. I mean, this game is growing on me now. The controls are fine. I, I don't blame the controls anymore. It's just my fault as a player for not being good. So I just gotta... Basically, I just gotta get good. It's really hard to get, get an angle on him. Okay, I hit him. Cool. I just gotta keep moving. If I keep moving, he will keep missing. Oh man, that's a weird noise to make when you're attacking. Okay, I can't see him now. Okay, he's gonna die in one more attack. Come on, hit him! <gasps> I thought I was gonna hit him! Okay, oh shit! I thought I was dead, but I was still alive! You have to like wiggle the stick to get up, or else you're, you're just gonna get hit again. Okay, I killed that thing. Finally, after like four tries. Okay, I switched to mouse and keyboard because it makes dashing a whole lot easier. The right stick sensitivity on the controller is just way too low. So I'm not really efficient at dashing. It, it makes my movement really slow. But using the mouse, I guess I get a whole lot more mobility and I can dash a whole lot quicker. Because I can point to the direction that I want to dash right away instead of waiting for the stick to get me there. Now I have to fight one of these guys along with a green thing, okay? I had to fight three different enemies. Okay, I gotta wait for that crystal guy to whiff before I do anything. Oh shit! This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad! Come on! No, I'm gonna die. Ah, I walked right into his attack, damn it. Okay, I'm back here. Now I really gotta mind my stamina meter because I think what happened last time was I clicked attack when my stamina, when I didn't have enough stamina to attack, so I just stood there and then took the damage before doing anything. I mean, without being able to do anything. And then when you get hit and then you get cornered by all these, by, by all these guys, you're just pretty much screwed. Because as soon as you recover, you get attacked immediately. When you get them grouped together, you can kind of hit like two of them at the same time. Which is cool. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I whiffed that hard. Dash away. Okay, I thought I was gonna get hit by that by that tele, by that dashing t crystal. <laughs> Good thing I didn't. Because uh, I I I oh he almost hit me. Because I pressed dash, but I did not enough energy. I did not have enough. I did not have enough stamina to dash. Okay. <gasps> no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die now. Okay, got him, got him. E it's boss fight time. Or is it just the next level? There's no boss fight? It's just an arrow. No boss fight? It would be great if there wasn't a boss fight. Yeah, there's no boss fight. Okay, this is the last level. The place where all is backwards. I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm assuming if I fall this bridge, I die. Uh, this is a... This, this is gonna be a really long way. Oh, there... Are there gonna be moving platforms? No. That was just the... The... The road. Not be not being drawn in the distance yet. Okay, now this music is banging for this level. This this really gets things interesting. The further you go, the more interesting it is. The first level is pretty boring. The boss fight is the best part of the first level. 
But uh, on the second level, everything is just good. Okay. Holy shit. Now this is bad, man. And there's me. And then there's like a couple of these teleporter guys. That I have to fight them. And I have to fight both of them at the same time. <gasps> Ow! I'm gonna die, for real. Oh, I did hit him. I, d I, I thought I didn't hit him. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get this health. I don't know if I want to get that health because I feel like if I get it, I will die. Because I'll get hit. Boom! <gasps> Man, I thought I, I thought I got a shot at him. Okay, this, this is not that hard. I think I can do it. I think we can do it. There aren't any filler enemies that I have to deal with, so that's cool. So I just have to... <laughs> I just have to walk through these wine. I just have to walk through this winding path every time I die. Which is alright. Because it's a lot shorter than all the other times that I had to restart. <laughs> okay, now this. This is a challenge. Now that I'm a lot better at the game, I figured out how everything works. It doesn't feel as slow anymore. Because uh, I have to react to things really quickly now. Because all the enemies are, are indeed fast moving. I can't just stand around in one corner and then wait for them to come to me or just hit them head on. Okay, ow! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Look, as soon as I get up, he's gonna hit me. Or maybe not. Okay, I got hit by the crystal guy. Okay, this, this is hard. This is hard. I dash right into the teleporter thing. I dashed right into the teleporter guy. I mean, I call him teleporter because he kind of teleports, but he doesn't really teleport. Te but he doesn't really teleport. He he dashes in. So I, I'll call him the dasher guy. I dashed right into the dasher guy. So I got hit. And then everything... Everything was just screwed for me. Okay, so I already beat the game. But, uh... The part of the recording that had the ending got corrupted so I'm recording this again so I have to I have to beat the boss a second time which is fine because it's easy it's easy dog it's no problem you just watch I'm gonna beat him the second time like it's none of my business okay here we go okay the dasher guys actually uh, they just die in one hit so it's all cool oopsie okay I, I gotta I gotta, I gotta get myself back in the zone here. Okay. Oh. Ah! That was so stupid. That was the stupid, stupid thing to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself killed for sure. Why is this? Why is the dasher not moving? Did he got bugged? Did he get bugged? Did he just stop moving all, all together? I think he just stopped moving all together. Look at him. Nope. There he is. There he goes. Boom. And then I gotta kill him. Okay, that gets rid of another problem. Okay, I almost died. Okay, I gotta mind my, uh, what do you call this? I gotta mind my stamina. I gotta remind myself to, uh, to check my stamina to make sure that my stamina is above 50 before I try and attack. Because I've been burned when, because I've been burned way too many times just standing in front of, uh, just standing in front of an enemy and then clicking and then realizing I do not have enough stamina. Okay. Come near me. Come near me. And... Boop! Okay, one more hit and he's gonna die. One more hit. One more hit. I'm also just one more hit. I f he does like 60 plus damage, doesn't he? Or something like more than that, probably. Okay, I just beat him. Easy peasy. No problem, right? Now we get to see the ending for the second time. Make sure just to not fall. <laughs> Come on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get that crystal. I gotta get that crystal that saves humanity. Okay, here we go. The crystal that saves humanity, mans. And... Bonk. There we go. And so, the crystal golem reached the heart of the void and restored nature to its rightful state. Now, 
A new era of humankind shall begin. It will be their duty to ensure that this does not happen again. A game by Lewis S. So yeah, this was a really fun game. If you're into RPG kind of stuff, and uh, that's pretty slow and chill, but still pretty challenging and still and still pretty fulfilling to, to beat, then maybe this game is for you. I'll leave a game link in the description if you guys want to try it out. So uh, so anyway, that's it for today, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell on the notification bell to upload. And as always, thanks for watching.